So in in that term, Luca Luca passed away. Like he just died. Like. Hey guys, welcome to our episode two of my story. And today our guest is Masi Obuba. Karibu sana Masi to our second episode of my story. And we are looking forward for your story. You can introduce yourself. My name is Masi Anyango Obuba Amaluo. <laughs> yeah, so I'm really privileged for calling me here and share my story. Maybe I can inspire other ladies yeah, also yeah. here. <laughs> yeah. So, um, all about it, I can say like uh, life sometimes is hard, life sometimes is good. I don't know, but for me on my side, I can say like my 20s are hard. Wow. My my, my <laughs> stage was good, it was flowing, but my 20s things are hard. Are hard. hard. Yeah. yeah, things are really hard in me and I don't know. And to make the most of us, you know, sometimes you just want to be, you want to hold on to it, you don't want to complain every now and then you are like, you know what, what, I'm complaining to my friends and they be like, Mercy, you can't do this alone, Mercy, you can't. So I like it when I fight alone, that's yeah. why I like it, like, when I play cool, I smile outside, but when I go just in my room, I just feel like, why, 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 why yeah. is life ruined? Yeah, so that's, that's life. And where did it start? Okay, especially when I joined the company, sometimes, you know, I always say that if one day I grow to be a woman, I'll, I'll tell my my kids just to work to your level best. It is not almost like campus life is full of drama. Yeah. That's what I can say. It's full of drama. Yeah. And where, okay, oh, now I want you to take us to your story, how it started and how you're coping and how it, how the situation changed you. Okay. Mm -hmm. I remember when uh, when I was invited here, yeah. the main topic that I was told to come and say was my love story. Yeah, yeah. my love story has been, <laughs> it has been really bad. You can say sad. Okay, falling in love was not my my passion, was not my any, I didn't, I didn't even think of falling in love when I come to campus and I was like and I told my parents, you know what dad, you know what mom? I will never, I will never date any campus guy. <laughs> I just I just found myself dating. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah. So um, let, let me take it back a bit. My love story, like I fell in love when I was in form two in high school. Let me say that. Like well, there was this guy at home it's called Luca and I really loved Luca. Like we really loved each other. Luca could even sacrifice just to work and give me fair. <laughs> so we were brought up together. We grew up together with Luca in the same same area. The parents and my parents they were close and like sometimes you find that uh, when mom will be going to work, I cannot be left at home alone. Uh, mom will take me to their parents' house and we could play with Luca and so we grew up and uh, in uh, when when we reach at that teen age and we need to part and we we're going to high school mm -hmm. we were really happy and we said that you know what Luca used to tell me like you know what Marcy I wish that we grow together I wish that when I marry you <laughs> and, but I think maybe we were kids but to me Luca really loved me that's what I can say yeah, I was in uh, Uganda Girls High School and yeah. uh, he was in Homer Bay High School. We were just near, near, near yeah. our school. So maybe sometimes when we when we close, when the school closed and uh, he could wait for me and uh, we, could go, we could go at home together. Even if they close on Tuesday and for us Wednesday, he could wait and we go home together. And that's what I would call now. To be honest, Luca was the only genuine man to have ever dated. Only genuine man, but uh, at least you have met even genuine men. Now to the campus. <laughs> now, wait, in from two, something happened in the team that we just say, like, God, why? Why, why me? Why? 
why did you do this to me? So, Luca started developing some health conditions in the first term and uh, he couldn't go to school, like he couldn't go to school and I was like, when we got to the holidays, back at home, still on bed, like he's sick. So in, in that time, Luca, Luca passed away, like he just died, like I felt like I don't know. I don't know what to do. I don't know who to kneel on. Like, I really never knew what to do. It really hurt me. And I said, will I ever find somebody like Luca? It took me time to accept it. So that's how, that's how I, I feel like the loving somebody was really hard for me. So I went from three, from four, not dating. Then in campus, <laughs> in campus, I met a guy. I met a guy like I was not that much into him, but I had some attraction. You know that that first yeah, first yeah, yeah. attraction. Yeah, we were attracted to each other. But we never we never told each other like you know I like you, I like you, and all this stuff. We just vibe. But deep down, I knew I had feelings for him. Yeah. So <laughs> this guy was. Uh, let me say, yeah. clumsy, like I it was too, too clumsy. I, sometimes I didn't like the behavior. Sometimes I did. I did. I was really confused, and I was like, "What if one day this guy leaves me? How will I feel?" Like I was so much insecure. What if today I'm with him? But, but before I came to campus, my sister used to tell me, "You know these campus guys, huh? They'll be." They'll be having you today, tomorrow they have that one. Maybe they are cheating you with another girl from other campus. And so I used to imagine those things. And whenever I always sit down, one thing that I always do to myself, I always remember my parents' words, especially my dad. You know, girls are always talked to dad. So dad always tell me, please, don't, 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 don't. So. Maybe, let me say I was overwhelmed to temptations. So then, <laughs> this guy, yeah, we admitted to each other. Yeah, I like you. I like you too. And we were like, oh. <laughs> we, were, we were attracted to each other then. One day, this guy, the behavior started irritating me. I don't know because we have been there for long or what. We've been in a relationship for long. The behavior started irritating me, and I'm like, you know, I don't like it how you do it. For me, I like, I'm always a patient girl. I like it when I'm, I'm, I'm in peace, you know. Like, peace is always my one, one thing that I like. Like, I really love peace. I really love being quiet. But now, the fact that he, the demands of this guy were so much higher than me. So what I did, I was still a first year and I wanted peace and I was just I was just focusing on education thing. You know. I blocked this girl. I removed the contact, like I didn't want anything. Yeah. So it was it was around um we joined in September. It was around end month September. So I stayed out of the relationship. September, October. November, December. So December 16th, I remember I was traveling to my sister here at Mlolongo. Then accidentally, I met another man. 